you think you can make a mean cocktail, try testing your bartending skills this weekend. The Spirit Festival gets into high gear downtown with tons of events like the Blind Tiger Mixology Challenge. Really? Uh, Derwayne Chesterman from Liquid Syndicate is here, and you're running the competition on Saturday. Yep, I'm running the competition. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's actually a blind tasting mixology contest, so it's not a popularity contest. It's not how fancy the cocktail looks. It's all about aroma and taste. So, you know, you've got to come on down, VIP tent, come check it out. Sounds awesome. Do you want to mention if uh, people want to enter, there's still room. Oh, yeah. So, it's the, you know, title's still up for grabs. Mm -hmm. But you have to get a ticket and not just a regular ticket. No, you've got to get the VIP ticket. So, if you get the VIP ticket, it's $100, but that gets you into the VIP tent uh, and all these free extras and cool prizes and stuff like that. Plus, they'll get to shake your hand. That's right. You want right. to shake my hand right I now? Do, there you go. I do. Let's mix the first drink up. And you know what? This is awesome because you're giving away some of your trade secrets. Right today. here, yeah. What we're going to make today is uh, a, I call it a chocolate orangutan. And uh, Three Olives has just brought out their new flavor. It's a rangtang, which is an orange and tangerine mix. And they have a bunch of nice flavors. And uh, I also brought their chocolate as well because orange goes well with chocolate. Yes, it does. So we're going to put an ounce in each. Right there, and then we're going to put a little bit of half and half, some cream Add to make a it creamy. Richness. There we go, and then a little simple syrup to make it sweet. Simple syrup, so it's just sugar and water mix. So there's that, and then we're going to give that a good shake. But before we do that, I want you to lace this glass with chocolate. Ooh, thank you. So what you need to do is you need to get the glass <laughs> really, really cold. Okay. And then here we have some chocolate, and it's going to run a little quick. But this is the same chocolate you put on ice cream, and it goes hard when it hits the cold. So just take, doesn't matter. Like don't that have... magic shell stuff? Right, that's it. Okay. All right. Get it all on the inside of the glass. There you go. And that will freeze. That's good. Perfect. So I've got, got my that. way with chocolate, Dwayne. There we go. I know you love your chocolate. <laughs> and this is alcoholic chocolate, too, so. Even better. And then we just pour that right on in there. And that will freeze the chocolate and create little flakes. And that will freeze to the side of the glass right there. That is beautiful. And then uh, what we're going to do, we're going to just throw a little bit of our orange rind on there just to make it look pretty. And orange there it is. orangutan. Orangutan. I love right it. Right there. Orangutan tang. <laughs> Well, uh, you know, uh, three olives is made with wheat, but it's actually gluten-free because it's, it's distilled so many times and filtered so many times. Actually, the gluten's completely removed, so I should mention that if you, you know, you have a gluten allergy. Uh, margaritas, they're huge right now. Summertime's coming. So uh, what's really getting popular right now are the small batch margaritas, like uh, Tequila 55 right here. It's a small batch tequila using fresh ingredients, using fresh limes, and then instead of putting triple sec in there, we're using agave syrup, which is a, a nectar that comes from the agave plant, which is what tequila is made from. Yeah, so. better for you, not the refined sugar. Right, exactly. It's natural sugar, mm -hmm. so it's, it's actually kind of good for you, you know, with the alcohol in there, it's really good for you. Yeah. I'm telling you what, you have a tough job on Saturday because you were saying that the public is going to be the one that does the taste testing That's and right. decides. That's yeah. But I mean, I know that you're going to have to be kind of filtering out this whole thing and, and there's going to be so many good mixologists there. There are a lot of really good mixologists there uh, and you should definitely come down and check it out. There's tons and tons of booze there. So. Yeah. You know, okay, you plugged it well. <laughs> All right, Saturday, tomorrow, June 5th, it's going to be at the Grand, uh, at the Hilton Bayfront. It's the Grand Tasting or the Spirits Festival. And we should say that Mary Jerry Sanders endorses this festival. Well, we know he likes a bit of the old ping pong yeah. tittle, don't <laughs> he? He'll like his cocktail. All right, so we got the orange orangutan. We got the mar uh, margarita there. Mm -hmm. Let's mix it up with some more drinks. All right, let's keep do some more, shall we? You want to keep going, do you? I do. All right, well, what we're going to do is uh, we're actually, uh, what I've got here is uh, Agua de Bolivia. It's actually a coca leaf liqueur. Ooh. It's really, really tasty. And um, it's made from the coca leaf, that, and it has a, what's known as an agua buzz, which if you, um, if you uh, chew on a coca leaf, it actually, you know, it, it makes you kind of, you know, awake and, and aware, and, uh, you know, if you're eating that in the high mountains and stuff, you actually get like an oxygen high. Mm -hmm. So uh, what we're doing is we're going to use some of this. Uh, and before we start, actually, let's just throw that back in there. We're going to get some mint. So you're going to grab that mint all out of that bowl there. And you're going to put it in your hand. Put it in my hand. Yep, you're going to grab it out. And you're going to smack it like that. And what you're doing is you're pushing all the oils out. Throw that in. Okay. You're pushing all the oils out. And then we're going to squeeze a little bit of lime in there. We're going to have you do that. Squeezing a little bit of lime. Yep. Hey, Derwin, why do you out. think that there are so many great mixologists here in San Diego? Because we're all fantastic. <laughs> well, there you go. You know, enough said. You know, there's a, there's a lot of great guys, you know, and there's some great bars coming up. Give it a good squeeze. 
good squeeze. Great bars coming up. There's a lot of cool things happening in San Diego, and that's why the San Diego Spirits Festival is uh, just fantastic. You know, it's it's a perfect time for the San Diego Spirits Festival. So we're going to muddle that in there a little bit, and then what we're going to do is we're going to fill that with some ice, real quick there, and then we're going to add the agua de Bolivia, the good generous portion. Don't want to skip on it, right? You're very generous. Oh yeah, I don't very mess around. Generous. And you're going to shake that up. Okay. Nice and gentle though, because we don't want to crack the... Uh... And while you're doing that, I'm going to crush some ice. There we go. What's the most unusual drink that you've ever seen at the Spirits Festival? At the Spirits Festival, uh, like a hot chocolate tequila. Ooh. Um, which was really good. And that was made by Ian Ward, actually. Uh, from the Whisk and Ladle. So. All right, well, the, again, the festival is tomorrow, Saturday, and tickets are still available. If you want to get into the Mixology Contest, which Doreen is heading on up, then you need to buy the VIP ticket, which is 100 bucks. Well worth it. What are some of the awesome prizes? Uh, there are all kinds of prizes. There's uh, lots of Mixology uh, items um, for uh, Mixologists. Um, there's, there's trophies. There's cash prizes. So there's all kinds of stuff going on. And... Uh, we're going to have a lot of good time, and then obviously you can go around and uh, uh, taste all the liquor that's sort of going to all be there as well. Sounds great. Plus just the, the recognition that, that you're the title winner there. Pretty much, yeah. It's going to be bragging rights for the first bragging year. Bragging rights. You know, until next it. year. Thank you so much for coming on today, and uh, have a great time at the Spirits Festival, and remember the designated driver. Yes, definitely make sure you've got a designated driver. No reason to be driving to this event mm -hmm. or driving from it, um, because it's just every stand is going to be liquor, so you really should consider that. Get a designated driver, take a cab. Thank you so much. All right, VIP tickets to Fiesta del Sol. Yeah, and then you can hear Timmy Kern perform live when SDL comes right back.